The movie begins by showing us Kurt, a social media influencer who is struggling to increase his following. After being born and raised in Los Angeles, his parents moved to Azusa because it was a bit more affordable than the big city. After his parents got divorced, Kurt decided to remain with his mother because of her declining emotional state. Due to being home consistently, Kurt begins to get into online gaming, recording all of his reactions for his subscribers. In 2009, Kurt officially started Kurt's World, attempting to grow an empire. On his show, Kurt made videos about life hacks and reviews, trying to focus on having fun. A little while later, he started babysitting, hoping to have better content and remaining friends with most of them to this day. One of the children he used to nanny for, Bobby, turns out to be an internet sensation, even though he started his show much later than Kurt. A few years later, Kurt gets a job as a spree driver in hopes of having more content for his channel. Kurt continued to make content for more than 10 years without gaining any attention. A couple of years pass, and Kurt becomes depressed about his lack of followers, which urges him to come up with his new content idea that he calls The Lesson. On April 12, 2019, Kurt finally decided to implement his new series. Buying multiple cameras, Kurt sets them up all over his car for a better view of the people he would give rides to. He then prepares water bottles that are injected with poison to give to his customers. Once everything is set up, Kurt goes out looking for his first customer. A few minutes later, his phone pings, and a spree notification appears indicating where he needs to pick up the man. Heading over, he finds a Caucasian man with long, ponytailed hair who tells Kurt to hurry because he needs to speak at a conference. After a few minutes of talking, the customers started showing signs of being racist, insulting minorities, and praising the fact that they were both white. Feeling like it could affect the views, Kurt asks him to refrain from saying hateful comments and offers him the poisoned water. Not thinking much of it, the man drinks the water. Kurt asks the man if his conference would have a lot of people. When the man confirms that there will be, Kurt jokingly tells him to inform the members that he isn't going to make it. Confused, the man asks what he is talking about, but seconds later, the poison starts to work, causing the passenger to asphyxiate and die. After getting rid of the body, Kurt heads out to pick up another passenger, this time a rude real estate agent in a rush to meet someone. Focusing on her phone call, the woman picks up one of the laced bottles and drinks it, dying a few minutes later. In a secluded location, Kurt parks his car and proceeds to the rear seat, where he finds the woman slumped over. He then proceeds to search through her phone. After sending a text message to the man she was previously talking to, informing him that she won't be able to meet, Kurt removes the woman's body from the car. Feeling confident that he has everything taken care of, Kurt drives off to find his third victim. A few minutes later, he got a notification letting him know that his next customer was close by. The third customer turned out to be an obnoxious jock who started speaking to Kurt very rudely, telling him to shut up and get him to his location as soon as possible because he had a woman waiting for him. The customer, Mario, ignores Kurt. Offended by the man's arrogance, Kurt keeps silent until he gets another notification informing him that another passenger wants to join the ride. Despite Mario's constant complaining, Kurt goes to pick up his new customer, Jesse, telling the annoying passenger that he joined Spree Social, which means he had to share the car. When they arrive, Jesse tells Kurt that she has already canceled the trip, but after being pushed by Mario, he tells her that the trip could be free, convincing her to get in the car. After Jesse joins the ride, Mario continues to be his obnoxious self and tries to initiate a conversation with the woman, who doesn't seem to be the least bit interesting. After bothering her for a while, Mario recognizes Jesse as a stand-up comedian with a huge following, piquing Kurt's interest. Mario continues to annoy Jesse and focuses on Kurt to stop the car when he insults the woman. Getting out of the ride, Jesse spills the water provided in the car on Mario's face and walks away. While Kurt drives them to a remote location, Mario starts to feel sick from the water that had accidentally gotten into his mouth. He tells his driver that he wasn't feeling well. Kurt makes an abrupt stop and asks him to go outside if he wants to throw up. Angry, Mario leaves the car saying that he needs to pee anyway. Suddenly, Kurt backs up the car at high speed and runs the arrogant man over. Smiling for the camera and looking goofy, Kurt tapes everything he had just done, including running over the body once more. As the sun sets, Kurt finds himself captivated by his phone screen, eager to learn more about Jesse. With a few taps, he discovers her page and is instantly blown away by the quality of her content and the staggering number of followers she has accumulated. Later, Kurt goes to the gas station to fill up his tank and awkwardly cleans the windshield, hoping to avoid being detected by people who might see the blood. 
Although he has been doing his best, Kurt is still unable to get viewers, Bobby being the only one watching. In hopes of spicing things up, Kurt starts driving his passengers around recklessly. The three people he had taken on as customers are panicked at first, but they relax a bit when Kurt offers to take them somewhere special. Bringing the group to his grandfather's former junkyard, Kurt invites the two eccentric passengers in the back to experience the refreshing night air by opening the sunroof. Seizing the opportunity while they are captivated by the scenery, Kurt steers deeper into the junkyard, where two ferocious dogs roam freely. He deliberately allows the dogs to attack his unsuspecting passengers and then proceeds to kill the girl sitting next to him with a drill. While getting his car washed in a drive to the parlor, Kurt calls Bobby and asks him if he had seen what was on his feed a few minutes ago. But when he hears that Bobby or anyone else hasn't watched the incident unfold, Kurt becomes incredibly upset. Bobby explains that his content is stale and evil, telling him that no one wants to see such things. Still upset, Kurt continues to stalk Jessie and becomes irritated at her content and how organic it is, chastising her for not keeping it uniform. Feeling like it is unfair that Jesse gets millions of views and he doesn't, Kurt decides to go over to Bobby's house. When the young sensation opens the door, Kurt accuses him of not keeping his promise regarding advertising his platform. Annoyed by his constant badgering, Bobby tells the unstable Kurt to get away from his house and starts live-streaming what is happening. Using the opportunity, Kurt grabs the knife he had been hiding in his pocket and stabs Bobby to death while his audience watches. Kurt then goes up to Bobby's bathroom for a shower and is excited to see that hundreds of people have started to watch his live stream. Once he makes sure Bobby's feed is hosting him, he's unable to believe he is now being seen by thousands of people. While lounging on Bobby's bed, his father, Chris, starts texting him to come pick him up so they can go to a club where a famous DJ by the name of Uno is performing. Seeing the audience was excited about the DJ, Kurt decided to go. After picking his father up, the two banter about their differences and the gun he finds in Kurt's glove box. Once they get to the club, Kurt is disappointed to see that the place is almost empty and he is underwhelmed by Uno, who doesn't seem interested in tagging him in her posts. When he's about to leave, Uno follows him outside and asks him to take her to a taco truck and promises to tag him in her story if he does. Agreeing, Kurt drives her to the nearest taco truck and waits in line to get her some food. When he returns, he is shocked to find out that she has drunk the poisoned water and has died in his passenger seat. The situation is made worse by the arrival of two police officers. Seeing the girl who seemed to have passed out, they assume Kurt has had a few drinks and ask him to do a standard sobriety test. Suddenly, Uno wakes up panicking and accidentally shoots one of the police officers with the gun she had found in Kurt's car. When Uno tries to escape, the remaining cop follows her, giving Kurt enough time to drive away. Overwhelmed by the sheer number of viewers he was getting on his live stream, Kurt enters a one-way road, swerving around to pass the cars while the police are closely following him. Adrenaline and excitement coursing through his veins, Kurt drives under a bridge where he sees dozens of homeless people. Offended by their lack of identity, Kurt starts running over the unsuspecting people and then finally hits a curb, causing his scar to flip over. Kurt manages to get himself safely out of the crush and goes to Jesse's show, the final stop of the night. While he is getting ready to shoot her, Kurt is surprised by Jesse's set, where she tells everyone that she had felt bad about the spree driver she had met earlier and had decided to get away from social media for a while. Overwhelmed by the revelation, Kurt rushes out of the comedy club and gets his spree cab. Kurt then murders the unsuspecting driver and uses his car to return to the club to pick up Jesse, who had called for a ride. Once she's inside, Kurt mentions that he loved her set and reveals that he was the same spree driver she had met earlier today. Scared by Kurt's unstable rambling, Jesse begs him to let her out immediately, but he refuses to listen to her. He tells her that he is going to take her to his house, frightening her even more. In an attempt to save her life, Jesse uses her phone charger to strangle the driver, making the car swing around uncontrollably. Managing to stop the car, Kurt gets himself free and punches Jesse, causing her to pass out. Taking her to the middle of nowhere, Kurt drags Jesse's unconscious body up outside and places it in front of his car. Then returning to the vehicle, he asks his viewers what they want him to do with her. After creating a poll and seeing their votes, Kurt agrees to kill the woman. While attempting to run over her, his dash camera falls and he bends down to pick it up only to see Jesse run into the car. Once she is safely inside, she starts chasing him with his vehicle in an attempt to run him over. While chasing him, Jesse loses control and crashes into a resident house. 
It is then revealed that the house she crashed into was Kurt's when Chris comes out running, high and with a needle in hand. Looking on the ground, he sees his ex-wife dead on the ground after she had suffered an impact from the car. When Chris is screaming at Jesse, Kurt appears from behind and guns down his father. Hoping he doesn't see her, Jesse gets back inside the car and starts it only to have the vehicle stuck, unable to move out of the opening. Having no other choice, Jesse drives forward and crushes Kurt with the wall, stepping on the gas with full force. As the live stream continues, Jesse keeps getting messages from the viewers asking her to go check if he is alive. When she walks over and touches him, Kurt hasps and wakes up, forcing her to beat his face in with the phone. In a strange turn of events, she gets another text asking her to take a selfie with Kurt's bashed-in face, and with a sadistic smile, she pulls up his hair and puts hers next to him, showing his bloody figure. Jessie posted the picture on her social media, saying that she wasn't going to be around for a while. Months later, Jessie returns with posts and captions, speaking about how she had survived a frightening ordeal. The unexpected event turns Jesse into an online sensation, opening up doors that she had never thought possible although he had died. Kurt continued to make waves on social media, finally earning the fame he had always wanted. And with that, the movie ends.